In today's video, I'm dishing about all the products that I've been loving this month. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got my little coffee cup here. It's morning where I'm at. I had to kind of, you know, wake myself up a little bit. Um, but I'm excited to talk about all the products that I've really been digging this month of June. If you're stoked, if you're excited, you wanna hear what I've been loving, give this a thumbs up. And uh, if you're brand speaking new here, go ahead and subscribe if you love beauty videos, reviews, hauls, tutorials, all that good stuff, because I upload them three times a week. And uh, yeah, so if you're an oldie but a goodie subby, you guys know I love you guys and I'm happy to see you back again. Okay, so I've got quite a bit of stuff. Um, the first one that I wanna talk about since, of course, it's the beginning of summer, you know, a lot of you guys always wanna know, you know, how am I gonna summer proof my routine? And I recently, like maybe about a month, a month and a half ago, discovered the Derma Blend. It's their leg and body makeup. Now, don't be fooled that it says leg and body on it. Um, it does have SPF 25. You can use it on your face. The great part about this, guys, is that it's waterproof, sweat proof, and uh, yeah, you can sweat in it. It's great, I love that. Now, I had a chance to work with one of their makeup artists, so she told me when you apply this, you wanna make sure that you use the Derma Blend, the translucent setting powder, not the warm saffron, and you wanna apply the setting powder after you waited two minutes. So you have to let the foundation just sit for two minutes. But I did test it out and girl, I mean, if somebody throws a cup of water at you, your makeup ain't melting off. Well, maybe your eye makeup, but not your face makeup. <laughs> and you can also put it on your legs too if you want that flawless airbrushed legs look, you know, if that's what you're feeling, then it's really, really great. When I know I'm gonna be somewhere humid, this is what I use. So, since we're on the topic of foundations, I've been also loving the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Oh my gosh, so first, when I first used it, I uh, bought the shade Coconut, which is so sad, I'm like almost out of. This actually goes really quickly, uh, they do give you one fluid ounce, but I'm like, damn, I'm looking at this, I can almost see through it. Um, and then I also bought a darker shade. This is one of their newest shades. It's called uh, Deep Golden. This is 368. So it's a much darker version of the coconut, so the same golden undertones. And I bought this because, you know, it's summertime, I'm only gonna get darker because I do spend some time outside. Right now, I'm kind of in between, so I'll put the deep golden on the outer parts of my eye and then coconut on the center. Um, but I suspect that by the end of the summer, I'm probably gonna be deep golden or darker. And most of you guys have tried the Matte and Portalis. I know that you guys really loved my review on it. So I won't spend too much time. If you guys do want a deeper in depth talk about it, you can go ahead and check out my video that I did on it recently. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna move on to the other goodies. Next up, um, I've really, really, really been loving this product. It really helps keep my makeup fresh throughout the day. This is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Makeup Setting Spray. I'm really picky about my setting sprays. When I try one that I don't like, I'm not afraid to return it. But I really, really love this one. And I have it on right now, and I've gone, you know, six, eight hours with my makeup looking bomb.com with this so it's really affordable check it out on their website if you guys are interested totally recommend it and it hasn't broken me out so that's a plus so if you guys saw my first impressions video that came out recently you would have seen that i've tried some new morphe products so i have their pigments and i'm in love with their pigments they just look Especially for somebody of color, a person of color, it looks bomb.com. And I've gathered about four of them right here. I mean, you guys, like, I don't know if you can see all of them. They just look so gorgeous. Like I said, they go on so pigmented. That's why they're called a pigment. <laughs> 
but I feel like they just really pop on my eyes they kind of have that same intensity if you have a Juvia's Place palettes you know they've got that same pop which I'm digging and I love that it's also affordable you know you just can't beat that it's designed to be applied typically with a wet brush so if you have a wet synthetic brush you put setting spray on it and then you know apply the powder and then put it on your eyes and I promise you you will fall in love next up let's talk about removing makeup so removing makeup from your brushes actually and I'm pretty sure I've talked about this one before but I just repurchased another bottle so I wanted to talk about it again because obviously I love it and this is the Clinique makeup brush cleanser now you can definitely use this as your sole makeup remover from your brushes but I like to do this to spot clean um, all my brushes so that each time I use my brushes they are you know clean and I'm not adding bacteria to my face and this is so so good it's better than the MAC brush cleaner. Um, it's better than so many on the market. I tried the e.l.f. one a few months ago and that one was trash. I mean, it was only like three bucks, but I mean, I had to return it because I wanted my three bucks back. Like, that's how bad it was. So the Clinique one is amazing and I love that it's just easy to travel with. Like, ugh, there's like nothing bad I can say. I just love it makes it makes my brushes clean and that's what you want right okay so this one I'm quite sure that I talked about this is the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer so I got this sample size about maybe two months ago and I've been using this so much especially as we get closer and closer to summer because y'all know I'm oily combination and now the oily part of my skin is just like taking over <laughs> so I need something to keep this in check so um, when this runs out I've still got quite a bit for the size like a little bit goes a long way I'm so surprised but it just keeps my makeup looking flawless at the most I'll get like a little dewy but you know I find that I don't really need to touch that up and uh, I can't tell you how amazing that is <laughs> moving on I want to talk about a product uh, that's a lifesaver. So have you ever experienced, you know, maybe you've gotten dip brow from Anastasia or a gel liner and after a few weeks of using it, it's just dry. And then the product is really, really hard to use later on and it's just not as popping as it was when you first got it. Well, um, you can also add Inglot's Duraline and this is amazing it's a mixing liquid so this is what you add to your liner as you can see it's got that little dropper so you can control how much is added you can just put it to your liner any product that's like dry it will revive the heck out of it and a little bit goes a long way so it really 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 lasts this is so interesting I didn't even know this but reading the back of this you can mix it with any makeup product and it will make a liquid waterproof formulation so that's even better um, I totally can't wait to use this to mix my own little like you know color liners for my eyes that's gonna be bomb so there you go it will revive products and it will also <laughs> create new products for you okay so this product is a bit unusual but you might have seen it on Instagram these are the shadow shields these are the originals you can get them at Walmart so you get about 14 shields and on the back here you can place it right under your eyes here you know what let me just take this out let me stop being silly so they look like this with this little you know half moon kind of shape and on the back it's got little adhesives and you can take the top part off and place it under your eye like so and if you're really bad at winged eyeliner and you want to get better girl let me give you this little secret you just put it right under here line it up with your eye and then you know it, it adheres and you can just use that to kind of flick it and create that nice sharp liner I used it today so you can see I mean my liner is looking fierce but it is sharp on the ends and I love that if you kind of like make a mess when you're doing your lip liner or lipstick you can also put it right under here I mean I think it's kind of made for somebody with smaller lips but you know 
it works. <laughs> so those shadow shields, they're like under five bucks. I really love how affordable, like I said, you get 14. So then that's like seven pairs if you only use them for your eyes. Um, honestly, I love it because I always do my eye makeup first because I'm messy and I hate fallout. So now I'm like, ooh, okay, I can do my face makeup and then use the shadow shield so that I can, you know, keep my eyes and the rest of my makeup looking fresh, you know what I mean? So, I think you guys all know about the Morphe 35O palette, right? Like. That one has just been their most popular product and it used to be like always, always, always sold out. Well, if you guys haven't checked out the 35M and 35S palette, let me show you. So, uh, this right here is the 35S uh, palette. So it's the 35O but all shimmers. So this might look a little bit washed out like on camera with my settings right now, but I promise you these are all super, super bomb. And when you use them with a wet brush, it's even more pigmented. I like to use Fix Plus um, for my brush, but bomb, bomb.com. And then if you love mattes, girl, just wait, just wait. So if you love mattes, here we go. This is the 35M. So it's the 35O, just all mattes, like I said. And you really have a ton of neutrals and warm tones to play with. And you've also got shades to highlight right under your brow. And what I love about the mattes, I'm just gonna say this, the mattes are really like subtle, you know, color payoff so you do have to build them up but I know that some of you guys don't like wearing a lot of eye makeup so it gives you the chance to kind of add a hint of color maybe like a little bit of transition but not have it look fierce you know you can just define your eye shape which is really really cool which is what I like. <laughs> so I really want to know what products you guys have been loving for the month of June or what you just can't stop using every day. Of course, let me know because like I always tell you guys, I'm always looking to try new things and I love getting ideas from you guys. And also, I recently got the Jaclyn Hill palette. Do you guys want to see a review, swatches, comparisons? Please let me know. Um, like I said, I love hearing your feedback. I just took a little look at the palette and it looks bomb. I haven't swatched it or anything, but it looks bomb. So if you guys want to see that, let me know and I'm happy to do a review for you guys. Otherwise, don't forget to check out some of my videos. I will put some of them right here. And if you're still here and you haven't subscribed, girl, don't delay. I have a subscribe icon right here for you to click on. <laughs> Alright, well I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Bye!